Immigrants new to U.S. are farming its lands with old ways. It was pitch black in the early morning after the Washington region's first snowfall, when the Nigerian farmer went to check on his crops. Olonyi Balagun pushed open the fence, took two steps, then stamped his boot against the soil. He bent over the rows of kale and gently touched the underside of a palm-size, sprouting leaf. Hmm, he grunted, frowning. Just like he thought, frozen. Most farmers in the Maryland suburbs stop growing their crops by mid-January, but Balagun wants to stretch out the season as far as he can. His wife says it's because he's a workaholic, he disagrees. In the rural towns outside Akure, the city in southwestern Nigeria where he was born, people farm year-round. For me, this is the only thing I know how to do, said Balagun, 53, a stocky man with a deep, steady voice. Every time he steps out onto his farm, he said, he remembers himself as a boy, leaping off a crowded pickup truck into the cornfields, slingshot in hand. This is what makes me happy. Agriculture was once the driving economic force of Montgomery County, now a booming suburb of one million people. But after World War II, rapid industrialization drew residents and resources away from the land, leaving just several hundred farmers in what is now the county's protected 93,000-acre agricultural reserve. As the county's demographics change, another shift is underway. Immigrants, many of whom grew up farming in their home countries, are taking over small pockets of the land, part of what advocates say is a national trend that is most pronounced in West Coast states such as California and Washington. These farmers, their heart and soul are in the land. It's something people miss. Caroline Taylor. In the United States, farmers have been, and are, predominantly white and male. A third of them are over 65, and as they march toward retirement, many struggle to find successors, contributing to a crisis within the industry that has seen rises in bankruptcies, loan delinquencies and suicides. From New York's Hudson Valley to California's central coast, public and private organizations are trying to connect immigrants with the resources they need to start their own farms or cultivate land owned by others, hoping to infuse the industry with new energy and traditions. The U.S. Agriculture Census does not track farmers based on national origin, but judging by its data on race, the growth of immigrant farmers seems likely, experts say. From 2007 to 2017, the most recent year the census was conducted, the number of farms with Hispanic producers grew about 30 percent, from 66,000 to 86,000. Those who study the census note that since many land leasing contracts happen informally, these figures may undercount the number of foreign-born farmers who are bringing their agricultural traditions to U.S. shores. In hurry for more on this story, visit the news article link.